So hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the cross sell, uh, collection cross sell pop-up so it's very easy. Um, so the first thing you need to do uh, is to create a collection for your product. So in this example we'll create uh, a cross sell pop-up for this product here, uh, garlic press. So very simple. Uh, so the first thing I'm always doing to stay organized in that is to uh, copy paste the name of my product in here and say that this collection has been created for an upsell. So this is my upsell number one. <clears throat> and we'll manually choose the product. You can do it as well by using the, the, uh, the, uh, the tag, but I think it's easier to just browse in your product list and take the product directly. Uh, you, you won't lose that many time doing it. So we'll add this product to our collection. Now it has been successfully saved and we'll create a second collection uh, to show up the pop-up. So we'll copy paste again. So it's my upsell two. You can, uh, you can call it cross sell. It's just uh, the name I, I've put by myself. Uh, but you can call it cross sell. Uh, it will be uh, it will be better. Um, so we'll click on save. Make sure you select manual, and we'll choose uh, three products that you that we want to cross sell with that one. So the butter grater, the chopping board, and let's say the oil and vinegar dispenser. So for example, let's say you were selling I don't know. Uh, quick example, uh, you're selling phones. Uh, you'll be able to select, let's say, a phone case, a pair of earphones, and then, uh, I don't know, a pocket or something that goes with your, your phone that you're selling. And it can be applied to any kind of product. So we'll click on Add. So we have our three products here. Our upsell number two has been set. We have our three products. The only thing we need to do is to go and select those two collections in our settings. So we'll click on Customize in here. So we'll go to our product, 3-in-1 garlic press. You click on your product, and then you need to go to upsell pop-up here in the settings. So make sure you're on sections, not on team settings. Otherwise, you'll contact our support team saying, hey, I don't have this option. Just make sure you're on section. Click on here, and well, do I have product? So there's no collection just gonna remove this one so you'll click on add content collection upsell and you'll select your two collections so upsell number one first always make sure that it's the first one that you see and upsell number two here select and then you click on save so we'll click on buy it now and now you have your upsell pop-up showing up here and your customer can click, oh, I've bought this garlic uh, thing, so I'm gonna buy this uh, butter grater. And you just increased by using this tool, your AOV, your average order value of $15 just by using this tool here. So hope you guys like this video. And if you have any question, you can always contact our support team at support at boosterteam.com. Thank you guys.